Hey dolls! All right, so today I'm going to share with you this amazing little gadget right here. So this is meant to work with iPhones. So unfortunately, if you are an Android user, these are not compatible as of right now. So this company sent me one of these awesome little instant printers and you guys have seen me talk about the instax mini camera and the instax printer i will link both of those videos in the description box so you guys can see and compare each of the two or you can see my opinion on the two and which one maybe you should invest in depending on what how you want to go about either taking your photos or printing them off from your phone etc so this is the little box that it comes in and i believe it is called the print pocket but it is spelled like this p-r-y-n-t it looks just like so and it comes in several different colors i believe there is white black lavender and a mint color uh, they did send me the mint one and little disclaimer before i get on into this i did want to mention that they only sent me this item to do a full-on honest review of and they are not paying me to make this video they are not paying me to say certain things about this at all whatsoever so yeah with that being said let's get on into this so this is supposed to work like an instant Polaroid style camera, um, but it hooks to your iPhone and it says right here, uh, works with iPhone or made for iPhone. So unfortunately, like I said before, if you have an Android or any other type of phone or smartphone, it is not compatible, which is a negative thing. However, I think and I hope that they are going to be branching out and starting to make them for other smartphones as well. And if that is the case, that is a brilliant, awesome step in the right direction because I know a lot of my viewers have Android or, you know, HTC phones or Windows phones or what have you, and they can't use products like this if they're made specifically just for iPhones. So this is the box that it came in and it looks just like this. I'm not going to see it says right here. These are all of the models that is it is compatible with. So you have to have an iPhone 5 or greater. View and edit photos, print from your camera roll, ink-free paper. You get a 10 pack of the paper included with this little machine itself. And the coolest part about this whole entire thing is that these little sheets that they print onto are actually stickers. So unlike the traditional Instax mini little films that you can see right here, these do not have stickers. It's just like a piece of film and then this part and along here is all like a white border. I have this little sticker on here right now, but you can see it's just a little white detail. I'm sure you guys have seen these a thousand times, especially if you've watched my other videos about the Instax Mini, but these, you don't peel it off. You have to like come up with some sort of double-sided sticky tape or an adhesive or something to put it in a photo album. So with this, it makes it so much more convenient if you want to use these photos for scrapbooking, which is amazing because you have the option to make them stickers or not because they just have peel off backs. Moving on into what's in the actual box. We have a couple little pamphlets here. I think this pamphlet is actually all of the instructions. And this little one right here just basically tells you what you can do. Now, another cool thing that this product does that the Instax doesn't is you download the print app, tap scan, and hold your phone over the printed photo, and it becomes like an instant video that you can watch on your phone, which I think is really amazing. However, when you're taking these photos, I think that you have to, like, take a video and then pick a still from the video to print off. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but we are going to experiment and see pretty much how it works. Here are the little sticker sheets, which I will get into in a minute. This is the uh, little pack that you can get on their website. It's just like a little refill pack. Now you get 40 prints for $19.99 on their website. Now with the Instax, printer little papers like this or with the camera these little films 
they equivalent, depending on how much you buy, they're about $10 for a pack of 10. So it's pretty much like a dollar per photo. So with these, it's pretty much 50 cents per photo. So ideally, this little situation is going to save you money in the long run. However, if you wanted to buy a seven pack of 10 packs, meaning you would get 70 prints on like Amazon or something, usually they'll only charge you like 50 or $60 online. So ideally when you're buying more of this type of film, you're saving when you purchase in bulk. I don't believe that they have an option like that on their website just yet, and I think that is the only place you can buy this little film paper. I don't think it's available anywhere else online like Amazon or eBay, and I am honestly not quite sure about shipping costs, but they are having a deal right now going on to where if you buy the little print pocket little camera gadget thing, you will get a free... 40 pack of film. So not only do you get the 10 that are included with the little camera jig itself, but you get the 40 pack as well. So you get 50 prints with your purchase of the little pocket print or print pocket. And they are going to be having that sale until the 19th of August. But anyway, let's go ahead and see how this thing works. The thing that I love about this compared to the Instax printer is obviously this is a lot smaller, so it's more compact in size, so it's less to carry around with you when you are traveling. Now, another thing that I love about this is that it is chargeable by a USB plug, which I will show you guys down here. You just plug it in and it does have a USB um, end on it. So you would have to use your iPhone adapter or something to be able to charge it in a wall outlet, uh, or you could charge it easily on your computer. However, with the Fujifilm Instax Share Printer, as you can see, it takes batteries, and not only any batteries, but these batteries are CR2 batteries, which are a pain in the butt to find. And not only that, they are insanely expensive. It's like $10 for two of them. So it sucks that you have to buy new batteries for this thing all of the time. Whereas with this, you can just recharge it and recharge it and recharge it as you would your regular phone. Opening this on up here, I haven't use this at all whatsoever. That's what I'm gonna be doing on today's video. So as you can see, just like a general little look around of this, uh, I believe you insert the cartridge right here and it will print out on the bottom. That is just from first glance, that's what I see. This is the little charging port. Up here, you take this off and this is where you will input the little cartridges, which I'll show you in a second. I think this, I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if you have to wind up for the next picture or if this is just for looks or what exactly this does. Maybe brightness, contrast. I don't know exactly what this little turn knob does, but we will find out. Um, and then this little button right here is your shutter button. So that is how you take the picture. And then as you can see, it says push to slide open. So you just push the little button and you can slide this to adjust to your phone. So if you have a 6 plus or a 7 plus, it makes it a little bit wider so your phone can slide in there and fit perfectly. And then you can just tighten it up to whatever width your phone is. It did come a fully charged, but in here, if I lift up this little, little shelving right here, this is the charging cord for it. You just plug it into the little print machine just like so and then like I said you have the USB um, end on it which again you can use an adapter it does not come with an adapter but if you have an iPhone more than likely you have one of these adapters to be able to plug it into the wall so you can just easily use that one basically it told me to download the print app and follow the video instructions to get started and in here before I do that this is the little cartridge that has your little printer paper in it. So before I get into this, you guys can see, I'm just taking one of these out, you can see the size comparison of the photos. So this right here is the actual photo, but all of the blue that's around it is just like the white of the film. So really, 
you're actually getting a bit more of picture space with this one. Even though it doesn't look like it, it looks smaller when you're looking at it as a whole. Like from the back, it looks tinier. But when you flip it around, you're actually getting quite a decent amount more surface space for the picture to be on, which I think is pretty cool. This little cartridge came pre-stocked, and this is exactly how it looks. There are a couple arrows down here to indicate, you know, where to put it. So now I'm going to go into the print app, if I can turn my brightness up a little bit. Sorry about the glare, but I'm going to, um, okay, I'm going to connect my print pocket. Place both the blue sheet and paper in correctly. Okay. So it shows you which way to insert this, which it came already inserted, so I don't have to worry about that. So it says, insert the cartridge into your pocket. Okay, so this little notch is going to go on the same side right here. I'm going to take this little sticker off so it's kind of out of the way. I'm going to try this. Try and push this. Okay, just like that. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's not... Oh, is that it? Like, is it just like this? Does it hang halfway out? Okay, I feel like it just hangs halfway out, which I'm not a fan of. I feel like I could bump this or, like, snag it, and it would just go flying everywhere. So I'm not a huge fan of that. I wish it would, like, go all the way down in or something so it's not as less bulky and in the way. So now that we've done that, it says push and slide clamps. Push inside the clamps to fit your phone, which I showed you before. Connect your phone to turn on your pocket. What we are going to do is I'm going to take my case off. My case is made from Sweet Escape Deco on Instagram. I'll post the link to her shop in the description box below. But I'm going to go ahead and take off my case. So I'm going to slide to open. And then I'm going to insert my phone. I'm going to snap it shut. And then it says right here, print would like to communicate with the print print pocket. Okay, so, okay, so now it says you're all set to print. So there is no Bluetooth work. There is no connecting via Wi-Fi. You literally just plug it in and you're good to go, which is absolutely amazing. I think you can connect your Instagram and your Snapchat and take photos from either one of those. I'm just going to go to camera and see if I can take a photo. Okay, let's see. What, okay, so this little dial is the zoom, which I thought it was. You guys can see. It's just a little zoom. Sorry for the reflection on my phone. But yeah, that's how you zoom. And I think you add... Okay, so here's video. It shows right here that you can do video as well. So let's go ahead and do a little video of Rebel. Hi, Rebel! How are you? Okay, so here's my little um, little video of Rebel. It said add frames to your photo. So I could pick a frame. Oh, okay, so you can make it look like a Polaroid. <laughs> Imitation. Okay, so I don't want a frame. I want it as is, okay. And can I do filters? Okay, we can do effects. We can enhance it. Portrait? Oh, do you guys see this? Okay, let me zoom up a little bit. Do you see how it's changing? It's defining certain things. And it brightens it up if it's a nighttime photo, which I love. Um, let's put it on portrait. So we'll apply that. Um, let's see. You can take away red eye. You can draw on it. What? Meme? Oh my gosh, you can turn it into a meme, which is hilarious. Um... And then you can add text, adjust. Let's do adjust. I always like to adjust my brightness up, my contrast, to make it a little bit more bold. And then let's do the saturation. Let's bump that up like crazy. You can see I'm going to bump this up like crazy because I love heavily saturated pictures. So that's about what it looks like. I don't see, however, okay, I'm going to hit apply. Is there a crop option? Can you crop your photo after you've taken it? I'm not sure if you can crop it. I could just be missing it. No, maybe not. Okay, here's your effects. 
Oh, you can, okay. So, oh my gosh, these are so cool. Sign in or cre create a free Adobe ID to get the most out of Aviary. So this uses one of my old uh, favorite editing apps and it was Aviary and you can do all of these cool filters. I'm not gonna do that right now. I do have an, an Adobe ID account, but I'm not gonna do it right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and click done and let's see if they're mail as a postcard for free. That's cool. And can I plus? Oh wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay, so there's the little video. Aw, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit print and see what happens. New firmware available. We are going to update your print pocket to provide you with the best printing experience. Okay, so it, it, uh, it updates through the app, which is super convenient. I love that. It says, please do not remove your phone while the firm firmware is being updated. So I love that it does this all within your phone rather than you having to hook it up to your computer and update it or something silly like that. I love, love how just compact and easy this is. Okay, let's try this again. Print. Printing. Okay, it says rendering. Okay, you guys hear it? I think it's going to pop out the bottom right here. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to hold it at. So I'm just going to hold it like so. Ah, there it's coming out. You guys see it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. You guys see it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. It says, awesome. Bring your print photo to life. Hold your phone over the photo to scan and bring it to life. So, you guys know I took this as a video, right? Hi, you see you? that? Hi, that is you? so cool. And then you can actually record this happening. You can see me moving it around and it's <laughs> it's moving on the photo. Okay, so I'm going to close out of that. That is pretty neat. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is show you guys the quality of this. Oh my lanta. Look at how crisp this picture is. Look at how crisp this picture is. It is such good quality. When you get the Instax photos, as you can see, I'm just going to compare Rebel's face to Rebel's face. This side is more blurry and you can't really see the definition of anything really. It's just you get the colors, you get the basic shape of everything and you can you can piece together the photo just by looking at it. But this, you can see individual hairs on his face. That is so crisp and nice. So, next I'm going to go ahead and print off a photo from my gallery and I'm going to print this off. With this one, I'm not as impressed. You can see it's really bright. It's pretty washed out. And it looks kind of like it has this weird, like watercolor effect to it. But I wanted to show you, here are the two photos, as you can see. So this is from the Print Pocket and this is from the Instax. So you can see they're both kind of washed out. This one definitely gives more of a purple vibe, while this one gives more of red tones. I'm not quite sure why this one came out so crisp and clear, but this one came out pretty... I mean, you can still see the detailing on my face, but it's just not as defined and crisp. So I'm going to print out one more from my camera roll and I'm going to pick one that has a little bit more depth to it. This one was a very bright pastel photo so that could be why. I'm going to print out one that has basically natural colors to it and see how that goes. And another reason I picked this photo is because I wanted to see if the little details within the reflection of my sunglasses was visible. And this photo came out a lot more crisp 
as you can see. You can see the detail in the reflection from my sunglasses. You can see, you know, my hair. My hair is coming off more red in these prints. With this one and with this one, it did come off more red. I don't know why that is by any means whatsoever. Um, but that could be avoided by maybe turning the saturation down a little bit. But I want my hair to be pink and vibrant in my pictures. So I don't know. I'm not a fan that it is turning my hair red um, in the pictures. But as you can see, it is definitely a lot more detailed and sharp and crisp. So final conclusion. The uh, print pocket is $149. 99 so it is $150 again for right now you get the 40 pack free of film so you get 50 prints with your purchase of a print pocket right now which is a pretty good deal and for this guy right here I got on Amazon for $130 not to mention the I want to say $30 that I've put into batteries and the numerous counts of money I have put into film I can't tell you how much money I've spent on Instax film over the past few years now am I team Instax printer or am I team print pocket uh for me Personally, because I am an iPhone owner, I prefer the print pocket. Will I be repurchasing these little sticker papers and continuing to use the crap out of this thing? Yes, 100%. Will I reach for this before I reach for this? Probably 80 to 90% yes. Um, I love that the backs of these are stickers, so I didn't actually do this yet, but in theory, you just peel a corner off and it is a sticker. As you can see, it is sticky. Um, so that makes, as far as scrapbooking goes and putting these in your little planner or wherever you wanna put them or maybe if you're in school and you wanna stick them uh, maybe in your planner, like I said, or in your locker or what have you, or even on just little notes to pass back and forth to your friends or whatever. I mean, even if you're making a birthday card for someone and you wanna include like a personal little photo in there, you can literally just peel the back off of this and stick it in the card itself rather than just throwing a separate little piece of film in there that can get lost very easily. I also love that they are still so tiny that you can put these in a wallet or whatever you want as far as carrying it with you goes. And overall, like I said, I love, 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 love that it is rechargeable. You don't have to use Bluetooth. You don't have to use Wi-Fi, nothing like that. You just open the app, plug in your phone directly to it, just like so, and it works very conveniently. The only couple negative things that I would have to say are, number one, is that it only is available for iPhones currently. That sucks for a lot of people because they would be very interested in this device. However, they are not able to use it because they may not own an iPhone. And another negative that I have is when I was printing the photo directly from a photo that I took with my camera, with the app and everything, it printed out super high quality, like amazing, amazing quality. But when I was printing off my super pastel bright colored photos that I had already photoshopped and enhance the colors and enhanced the saturation and enhanced the sharpness of them. Why did these ones not print out as good? Like that is my concern there is like the photos that I had already edited on my phone and already enhanced and already made good. They didn't print off near as well as the one that was just taken randomly with the app itself. So to me, that's a little funky. Like this one printed out pretty well, but as far as this one goes, like I said, it's turning my hair red instead of pink and I'm not really a fan of that. But overall, when you have an Instax little film, it's gonna distort the colors. It's gonna come out brighter than you expect. It's gonna come out darker than you expect. Whereas with this, it comes out for the most part very similar to what it shows on this screen before it prints off, which is something that this doesn't really do. It always tends to print out lighter or darker than it shows on your phone screen. So I would have to say, in conclusion, 
I love this thing. I think it's a really cool concept. I love that you can film little videos and pick a still from it and print that off and it can be an interactive thing. And not only that, but you can record it happening and then post that all over your social media. For that purpose, I definitely love this idea. It is so cool. Let me know. Sound off in the comments below what your opinions are on this. If you're interested in it, do you think it's a cool idea? Do you think it's cheesy? <laughs> that was a pun because you're taking photos and you say cheese when you take photos. Bum. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this. If it was helpful, please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are a new viewer of my channel and this is the first video you are watching, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos because like I said, I have done other camera related videos and iPhone videos and all of that fun stuff. So definitely check it out. And yeah, with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!